The source is here at the Scotiabank Convention Center in Niagara Falls for the fourth annual Students Rock Competition. Tonight, the best high school guitarists from across Niagara will compete for prizes including three Gibson guitars in an event sponsored by the Niagara Regional Police and Pro Action Cops and Kids. You show us everything we got. You keep on dancing and the room gets hot. You drive us wild, we'll drive you crazy. Now each of today's 16 contestants was matched up with a mentor. What was the mentor's role working with these students? So the mentor's role is uh, obviously uh, a police officer of the Niagara Regional Police has donated their free time to spend with the kids, whether they stop by the house, meet the parents. Um, stop by the school during school hours and uh, just basically be a life coach and support them in what they're doing. Um, any questions they have in regards to music, um, policing, um, and as they move forward and uh, being a part of the community. Joanne, prior to tonight you acted as a mentor for Michaela in preparation for this. What kinds of things did you do? Well, I first contacted Michaela when I was given her name to uh, mentor her as a student and uh, we met at her house and we just sort of talked about what her interests were and of course the song that she was going to be playing and um, we just sort of just chit chatted, a little bit of girl talk here and there and um, made her feel a little more comfortable I got to know her a bit more and uh, I thought the conversation went very well so I'm excited to be here and I think she's going to rock her song tonight. From Alice in Chains to Zeppelin, the song choices were slanted towards the heavier side throughout the evening. So the students, when they chose songs, it's all classical 80s rock. So we're talking uh, ACDC, Van Halen, uh, Metallica, Motley Crue, that sort of stuff. Uh, music that I grew up listening to. So uh, again, uh, it brings back some good and maybe bad memories, but uh, fun nonetheless. The judges tonight were looking for more than just raw talent. I'll be looking for uh, just being comfortable playing the uh, song, knowing the song, and you know maybe putting your own spin on it. What makes a good stage present for a presence, I should say, for a 16 or 17 year old kid? Just being comfortable and uh, getting into the groove of the song, and you know being uh, part of the song. Austin Moore of Centennial School relished the chance to play a song he wouldn't usually tackle on stage. I would play a lot of heavy metal. I'm into that. It's hence the Dimebag shirt, like huge Pantera influences, you know, big four, thrash, metal, like Metallica, Slayer, any of that. So this is definitely one of the more modern metal tunes I would pick. How do you feel about your performance tonight? The band was pretty fast. You had to sort of ramp it up to keep up? Yeah, they would. I did have a little secret. It's um, a Dragon's Heart pick that was given to me by my good friend Alex, and it's got a beveled edge to make picking easier. So if you see that little thing I did with my hand, that was me switching one of the edges to try and compensate for the speed. As far as, you know, getting involved with the community as a police officer, this has to be one of the more fun ways to do it. Oh yes, absolutely. It's been fantastic being a part of this. Uh, being a resource officer with the Niagara Regional Police, I spend my days with the youth. So to be able to do and spend time with them with um, for something they have a lot of passion in has been uh, has really touched my heart and it's been uh, been fantastic to be a part of it. The top three guitar heroes tonight took home a brand new guitar courtesy of sponsor Long and McQuaid and they'll also be invited to play at the official Niagara Falls Canada 150 celebration on Canada Day. Reporting for The Source in Niagara Falls, I'm Mike Balsam.